Cardins, the Coldwater Bowling Coach, joins us tonight for our interview segment. And we were just chatting. No daughters, no nephews or nieces this year. It's got to be different. No, re no relations on the team. Yeah, it's been real different. Uh, <laughs> we went about 10 years. We had a nephew. I had a nephew and uh, or one of my two daughters. So this year is the first year we had a how to not deal with any of that. So it's been a little, it's been a little different. It's just as challenging and, and just as much fun with a whole different group of kids. So um, we'll see what happens in the postseason, see if, how we do without a Hardings or a James boy. So It is right around the corner of the postseason. We'll talk about that in a moment. But first, regular season action. The boys have run the table in the WOHSBC South. Yeah, in the South, uh, we have a bye tomorrow. So they're done with the South Division. So we'll do the uh, playoff a week from Saturday. Um, right now, it looks like we'll bowl Lima Shawnee, depending on what happens tomorrow. Um, so we're pretty excited about that. We're going to be at Westgate Lanes here in Lima uh, a week from tomorrow. So we have all the teams come there, and then uh, the top two teams in each division will bowl each other for the uh, conference title. So, and the girls are uh, second. Versailles is undefeated in the South, so uh, there's a good chance we could face somebody like Wapak. But uh, it'll be a good challenge at the end before sectional tournament. As you look back at, at what has become of high school bowling the last 10 years, you know, it was club sport, mid-2000s, OHSA adopted it. Now you have a north and south division, most of the WBL, or is it all the WBL participating? Everybody but uh, like Defiance and Kenton, okay. uh, Elida, Bath are, is not in our conference. But they have teams. They them. have teams yeah. and they've got very good teams and uh, a lot of numbers. Um, we have 20 teams in our school, in our conference, and we have 10 in the south, 10 in the north. Yeah. Um, we would love to go bigger. Uh, we would love to add those teams to our conferences, but uh, with the sizes of the bowling centers, it's just hard because you know, most of them are 16 lanes or smaller. Uh, so if we added more schools, it'd just be harder to try to do everything on a Saturday. Um, but maybe in the future, we'll try to figure something out to get all these schools involved somehow or another in another conference or maybe go three divisions. But uh, that's something we do in the off season, and we'll talk about it. Pretty special to see where bowling is right now. Oh, it's awesome, especially being a proprietor and being in the bowling business my whole life. Uh, my mom and dad started our business in 76. My dad was a big part of the uh, getting things started in 99, uh, just with eight teams in our little, little t county of Mercer <laughs> County and Allways County. And to see it grow and then to see all the uh, league bowlers that we have now that used to bowl in high school bowling, you know, through other towns and stuff. And uh, if it wasn't for that, our league bowling wouldn't be ne near as strong as it is. And I think the other proprietors in the area would agree with me that high school bowling has been huge for our sport. And uh, for these schools to adopt it, it's even better, I think. Pretty special story on the boys' side. Evan Diller, JV for three years. This year he's... Best in the South and, and fourth overall in the WHSBC. Yeah, I give, I give him credit. Uh, I just talked to him a little bit ago. He's a little nervous about what you're going to ask and what we're going to talk about. But uh, <laughs> I think he did a great job in the summertime. I mean, bowling in the off season and then putting a little extra time in in the fall. And I think he realized if he didn't work a little extra harder that he may be on JV as a senior possibly or not bowl as much on the varsity team. But we lost five good boys last year, five good girls. And we've had a lot of kids step up this year to really get to where we're at right now. So. Uh, kudos to him for working as hard as he did, and he's been a good leader along with Caden and several other seniors. And uh, Michael Shane here is a sophomore. He's been bowling really well here as of late, so uh, I'm pretty excited about the postseason with boys and girls. Just two weeks away, Minster will host the sectional again. Nice center point for, for postseason. Seems like it's a Minster every year. Yeah, they do a great job. I kind of helped Jay Selgo from Ottawa Glendorf. Uh, we kind of have a team of coaches that kind of help him and pick, and I always uh, kind of lobby for Minster. I like they have, they have 18 lanes, they have synthetic lanes, uh, they have a big concourse for us to get our bleachers in. Um, me and my two assistants, Kyle Bruns and Wes Steinecker, kind of run it. We're like the tournament managers for it. Uh, it goes real smooth with OHSA's new scoring system, how they do that. And uh, I just like going there, and then Napoleon will host one, and so will Port Clinton, and that's the D2, and the D1 will be hosted. Uh, the sectionals this year is going to be at, uh, at uh, 20th Century Lanes in Lima here. Nice. And then they'll go up to uh, Port Clinton for the D1 district. So we'll still advance three teams out of our district to the state, boys and girls. So um, I think there's a lot of teams getting pretty excited about uh, the big challenge at sectionals, who can get out and who can yeah. get the districts and who can get the state. So. All right. Well, good to talk to you again. We'll go talk to the students. Rick Cardin, the Coldwater Bowling Coach. And you guys nervous? You want to give weather <laughs> predictions? That'll kind of loosen it up. <laughs> Let's start with Emily. Uh, 185 average, fifth mm -hmm. in the entire conference, mm -hmm. north and south. Just how's your senior season gone so far? It's going good. It's going by really fast. I bet. Yeah, not really used to like being a senior, I guess. I don't want to end. High of two, what was it, 227? Mm -hmm. Tell us about that game. Um, I think we bowled it in the 20th century here. Okay. And it was, had to figure out the lane pattern and everything, and it was easy, I guess. I don't know. It wasn't, I don't know. <laughs> Being a part of, of yeah. this girls' team, yeah. I mean, what, what's that mean? State champs last year, state champs a couple years ago, third place mm -hmm. as well. Just being a part of this tradition, what's that mean to you? It just means, like, for me being a senior, it means I want to work harder to get where we were last year. Yeah. Like, I think all the girls on our team as well want that. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. Evan Diller down at the end, uh, like Coach was talking about, JV bowling, and, and you thought, I want to work hard. I want to get in there. What was the motivation this summer, and how do you, how, can you believe you're here, almost one of the best in the conference? Uh, my motivation was basically to get stronger, to help the team, so we can get back to the championship team we had back in 2015. Yeah. And hopefully win it again this year, where I think at this rate, we have the, peop uh, the quality of players to. And I think as we keep getting better, I think we have the shot to get there. 290 high school, or when did that happen? Uh, it was about midway through the season. Okay. Uh, I had a nine and then a spare in my first frame. And then after that, I had no really reason to think I had a 300, so I just kind of went up there naturally. And really? 290. So you felt like the pressure was really off, and you just kept throwing strikes? Yeah, basically. Best you've ever bowled in your life? Yes. And trying to replicate it each week, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's very good. Uh, Caden Seitz, uh, 12th in the league, just under a 200 average. How's this boys team come together this year? I think we've can't come very far so far. After losing those five seniors, those, those guys last year were big contributors, and we knew that we had to step it up going into the next season. And uh, all, all six guys on varsity right now worked very hard, and everyone deserves a lot because they put in the work, time, effort, and they're always up to the boy now we're working on what they need to do, picking up spares and that. Excited for, for next week when you have the, the roll off, maybe yeah. in Shawnee, but first versus first? Yep, we bowled Shawnee earlier this season. It was a very good match. I think we won by like 20 or something like that. Okay. We were down by one going into the last Baker game, I think. Oh, wow. And we turned it on. I think we, we really figured it out. That was the first week of the season. We knew it was going to be a long season, but we really turned it on that last Baker game. And All right. Came away with it. Well, tournament from here on out, pretty much. Tournament like atmosphere, and then sectionals in a couple weeks. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, we have pizza in the kitchen. TJ's Pizza might still be a little bit if you want to run down and get some. When we return, we'll have the lift off.